finally here after months of talking about it, planning about it. Penguin Teen TV is live! <laughs> it's all my I want to thank my mom and my dad and my best friends. Penguin Teen TV is going to be the home of great YA news. It's going to be talking about books, it's going to be talking about YA adaptations, authors, events. We're going to take you behind the scenes of what it's like to work at a publishing house, answer your questions and more. Anyway, our first exclusive, exclusive interview, yes, is with Rochelle Mead. She's going to talk a bit about Silver Shadows, about Game Board of the Gods. We pre-recorded this a little while ago and some very lucky people got to see it at Penguin Teen Live in Melbourne but we're pretty excited to reveal it now exclusively on YouTube. Enjoy. So Rochelle Mead, welcome to Penguin Teen TV. You're our first author guest. It's very exciting. Hey, Felicity. It's good to see you again. Firstly, questions about the Vampire Academy world. Obviously, it's all finished with these six books and we've got the spin-off bloodlines. Question to you about what's coming next. Is there more Vampire Academy? Is there more bloodlines? Oh, I wish I could give you all the information on what's coming next, because there is definitely some very cool stuff uh, that I'm about to announce, probably within the next month or so. Unfortunately, I can't give you details on what my next project is, because it is top secret at the moment. Uh, but as soon as I'm able to announce it, uh, you'll be the first to know. Okay, spoilers for Up to the Fiery Heart, everyone. Block your ears if you haven't heard this, but you basically left us on the worst cliffhanger ever. I mean, that... It was up there with Shadow Kiss. When you were writing this, did you know this was going to happen? You kind of knew, didn't you? I did. I knew it was coming. Uh, actually, much like Shadow Kiss, I knew from the time I sat down to for write the first book in the series uh, that there was going to be kind of this terrible thing going on in the middle of the series. So I apologize. I know it causes people agony, and I've gotten a lot of sad, sad emails about the ending of Fiery Heart, just like I did with Shadow Kiss. Um, but, you know, just like that book, hang in there. Things could get better, maybe. We'll see. So with the Bloodline series, the fandom has been, not slow, but a little slower to come on board with the whole Sydney Adrian thing. But by the fiery heart, it's Sidrian madness. Has that excited you? Does that keep you enthused that people are really adopting the Sydney and Adrian relationship? Yeah, I love it. Uh, I, I can't believe that I've actually started using the term Sidrian as part of my own vocabulary and that it's become so widespread. I, I love seeing how excited people are about them. I, I loved Rose and Dimitri. Their, their relationship was super epic, very dramatic, and of course had its uh, ups and downs. Uh, but Sydney and Adrian's uh, is a whole different kind of thing, and I love that people are into it because even though it's crazy, it's you know a fantasy vampire-human relationship, there's actually kind of a real world element to it, some of the problems they have. And so I'm so excited that, that people have uh, gotten on board with that. Uh, of course, Adrian's so easy to love. It's, it's hard not to be on board with anything he does. There's a lot of love out there for a lot of your side characters. Everybody loves Eddie and Jill, but uh, there's some even some smaller side characters like Wolf and Rowena Clark. Do you have a fun, are they your fun characters to write or how do they come about? Yeah, all the side characters are fun, and in fact, the more fun I have with them, uh, the more it really shows uh, in the book, I think. You, you can tell if I'm bored with a character or if I'm out of love with someone. I, I just don't write them very well, so I try to just have as much fun with my, my side characters as I can. Uh, and those ones you mentioned are, are a couple of my favorites. I, I love Rowena. I love that she kind of verbally smacks Adrian around. Uh, Malachi Wolf is, is definitely near and dear to me. He actually has his own Twitter account, so if anyone uh, is interested in following, you can you can get his wit and wisdom. Uh, although I think he's been kind of quiet lately. I'm going to have to, to get on him about that to see if we can get a few more Malachi tweets out there. You seem to kind of love or kind of hate, we think kind of love, torturing your fans with these crazy cliffhangers. Is Silver Shadows going to be that way too? Silver Shadows does have kind of a cliffhanger. Um, if it makes you feel better, though, it's not quite as brutal as the Fiery Heart cliffhanger. So I mean, don't, don't get me wrong, you're still going to be screaming for the next book when you finish Silver Shadows, but I, I think the pain will be slightly less. So maybe instead of like a 9 on a scale of 1 to 10, it'll, it'll just be a 7. I hope that helps. Is there anything you can give us a hint about in Silver Shadows? Maybe it's about Sidrin, maybe it's about Jill, maybe it's about Eddie, maybe it's about more returning Vampire Academy characters that we might see again. Oh boy, that's that's tough. Uh, let's see, what can I tell you? 
Um, it, it starts off, it's a very dark book, and if you, of course, read the ending of Fiery Heart, you understand why why that's the case. Um, so, so it starts off that way, but I, here's what I'll tell you. There is some deeply, deeply romantic, swoon-worthy stuff, uh, especially at the end. You, you guys, I think you'll forgive me for, for some of the terrible things I've done to these characters when, uh, when you get to some of this romantic stuff. Uh, so people, I think, are really, really going to love that. Um, that isn't to say bad things still aren't going to happen, but you'll be relieved to know that, that occasionally good things happen to these guys, too. Give us one word to describe Silver Shadows. Intense. Uh, it's all intense. The The dark stuff is, is intense. The happy stuff is intense. It's just there's nothing nothing that's particularly low-key about this book. It's kind of just go, go, go. Uh, and uh, I think once you start reading it, it's going to be one of those things you keep turning until you're done and suddenly a whole night has gone past. And while we've got you here for Penguin Teen TV, we've got to ask you about your adult series, The Age, Age of X. Game Board of the Gods was book one and The Immortal Crown is book two and it's coming out really soon. Is there anything you want to tease about that? Uh, the Immortal Crown, which is uh, the sequel to Game Board, uh, yeah, that's coming out soon. Uh, let's see, there's there's a lot going on in that book. It's a very different kind of book from the first one. Game Board of the Gods was kind of a, a murder mystery, and The Immortal Crown takes us to a whole different place, uh, literally. Uh, they, they leave the, the country that the, the first book took place in, and so you kind of get to see some of the, the wild, uh, more, more savage countries that exist out, outside of their homeland. Uh, and that book, surprise, has cliffhangers at the end, um, kind of stealthy ones, like you think you know what the cliffhanger is, and then suddenly uh, you're going to get blindsided a couple of times because you think, oh no, that's not the cliffhanger, this is. Uh, and then I pull out something else and you're like, oh my god, that's it. So uh, be ready, there's a lot of big, big surprises coming in that book. You toured Australia in 2009 and it was amazing. When are you coming back next? Oh, I wish I knew. I wish I knew. I loved being in Australia. It was seriously one of my most fantastic tours I've ever done. Also one of my most exhausting. Maybe that goes hand in hand. Um, not sure when I can get back there. It's, it's hard having two two kiddos so young right now. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I would really love to get back there, especially even with my family when my boys are a little bit uh, easier to travel with. I think they would have a blast down there. I certainly did. So keep your fingers crossed. I don't know, maybe a couple of years or so. Uh, oh, gosh, that seems so long. Maybe sooner. I don't know. I hope, I hope it's soon, though. I would love to see you guys again. And is there anything you want to tell your Australian friends? Only that I love you guys. I hope you know that. Uh, I can always count on my Australian fans for just everything to be, you're just definitely one of the most passionate fan bases I have. And I, I refer to you guys all the time when people ask about my books. I'll say, oh, you should see on Australia just how faithful they are. Uh, you guys have stuck in there with everything, the, the movie, uh, the different changes in the series. Uh, whenever there's a contest when people have to vote online, I always know that once Australia wakes up, you guys are totally going to come through and win things for me. Uh, so, so thank you for that. I, I love you guys. It's, it's, it's so strange that you're so far away and yet you have such a, a big place in my heart and in my career. So thanks, guys, and I hope to see you soon. Okay, thank you, Rochelle Mead, for being part of Penguin Teen TV, and you got to come back soon. Bye. And thank you, Felicity and Penguin Australia. I love you guys too. Uh, good talking to you, and I hope we'll talk more later. We've read it. She's right. It's it's insane. It's intense. Anyway, that was the first episode of Penguin Teen TV. Yes. We're going to answer all your questions and more. So feel free to send us an email, tweet at us, Tumblr, Facebook, Pigeon Carrier, head to the site, sky riding, although make sure it's a clear day because we you know we obviously need to be able to see it. We're going to be back in two weeks. We have an episode every fortnight on Wednesdays at 7.30. And uh, if you've got any questions that you want answered on the show, again, feel free to contact us anyway. You can all find it below. Oh, that's fun to do. It's below. So I'm Felicity and that was Penguin Teen TV. It's done. Got any other ideas for sign-offs? Keep reading, enjoy your books. Y-A? Oh! Y-A! <laughs>